Change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, it's Tim Van Orden, hanging out in my studio, making a video about not training, right? The guy that makes videos about training no matter what. Well, today I'm making a video about not training. Why am I doing that? Because I'm concerned that the training that I have been doing has been slowing down the healing of my foot because I'm feeling some stuff in there. And since I'm not working with a professional, I'm not going to PT or seeing a doctor on a regular basis, not my choice, but just the way it is, I wanna be cautious because my top priority right now is healing my foot. The doc told me six weeks, that's the magic number to heal a bone. So. I'm taking the six weeks very seriously. And part of that seriousness is saying, you know what? These long training sessions on the elliptigo and on the bike or doing the squats that I've been doing doesn't feel great in the foot. And it's not worth turning six weeks into eight to 10 to 12. And before you know it, I've got this fragile injury that never heals. And then when my birthday shows up in May, I'm not ready to run a fast time. In fact, I might not be ready to run at all. So by not training right now, by taking a couple days off to give my foot a chance, and then when I do get back into exercise, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to be gentle. Because this is not the important training. The important training comes once my foot is healed. So I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance now, and I'm going to let myself get out of shape. And I'm going to learn how to be okay with that. Because one of the challenges of being a human being who sets goals is that we have this abstract self over here on the left, and then we have this physical embodied self over here on the right. And it's not like you're one or the other, you're both. But they often fight with each other. You got this battle going on. This one sets the goal. This one's like, uh, dude, have you checked in with your body? I don't think that goal is realistic. And sometimes we have to put the goal on hold. And we have to tell this guy, hey dude, you're just gonna have to be patient, you're gonna have to chill. And how about we make the goal healing? What if that becomes the goal? Let's do a really good job of healing. There's construction going on outside my studio. <laughs> if you're wondering what that is. Anyway. So even though my goal is to run a ridiculously fast 5K at the age of 50, that doesn't mean that I can't take some time off right now. Because taking time off right now is going to make that a possibility in the future. But pushing through, trying to maintain my fitness in the middle of an injury might make that goal an impossibility because I'm just in this constant state of injury and fragility. So sometimes the best training is no training, all right? Hope there's some value in there for you. I'm taking this extra time to work on my studio. I've made some new environments to film in, and I'm also writing. I'm working really, really diligently on an upcoming project, and I'm excited to get that out, and this is giving me some space to think about that. All right, love you all. See ya.